good morning students in continuation with the topic atmosphere today i will explain a very significant lesson and that is atmospheric pressure and winds now if we consider atmosphere as an ocean of air we live at the bottom of this ocean of air the atmosphere exerts pressure because air has weight but we do not feel the enormous pressure of air it is because we are supported by an equal pressure of air on all sides of our body and the air inside us exerts an equal amount of outward pressure balancing the inward pressure of the atmosphere so the blood pressure which we have inside exerts a pressure and these inward and outward pressure balances each other imagine if we did not have this blood pressure the atmospheric pressure around us would have squeezed us so what do we actually mean by atmospheric pressure it is the pressure exerted by the weight of the vertical column of air per unit area now when you look at this diagram you will be able to understand better now we all know that atmosphere is surrounding the earth atmospheric pressure is however not the same everywhere air pressure decreases with increasing altitude so the mountain climbers often experience some physiological disturbances like weakness nose bleeding ear bleeding etc and why is this because as we go high up the molecules of air become rarer here we can see closer to the ground the molecules are very close to one another so pressure is high but as we move higher up the molecules become separated they begin to remain far away from one another and that results in the lesser atmospheric pressure as we go high up now there are four major factors which are affecting the atmospheric pressure they are temperature altitude rotation of the earth and water vapor so let us first take up temperature these four are the most important factors which affect the atmospheric pressure so as far as temperature is concerned there is an inverse or opposite relationship between surface pressure and temperature when temperature is high the air expands and a low pressure is created the pressure of air becomes less dense and it begins to move up on the contrary when the temperature falls the cold air becomes dense and exerts more pressure this is the reason why we have a low pressure at the equator because temperature is very high over there while the poles are having a high pressure and what is the reason the reason is the areas are very very cold so the density of air becomes high and high pressure is created along the 
polar regions. Next we come to altitude. Now atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude. Here we can see that as we go higher, the pressure becomes less and the atmospheric pressure decreases. Temperature becomes less, so the atmospheric pressure decreases. So the lower layers of the atmosphere are denser than the layers of the higher altitude because the air over here is rarefied. This is because the atmosphere is highly compressible, that is it can be pressed. The overlying layers exert a lot of pressure on the lower lying layers. The heavier gases and its molecules remain closer to the surface of the earth mainly due to gravity. So higher the elevation, cooler is the temperature mainly because of the rarity in the atmosphere. So we find that in the same latitude, the areas which are at a lower altitude are very hot during the summer, but at a higher elevation, the temperatures are very less. Now, rotation of the earth. This also plays a very important role in determining the air pressure. Let's see how. Now the rotation of the earth causes bulk of the air to swing from the poles towards the equator. Polar regions have a very high pressure due to extreme cold conditions. The air sinks down at the polar regions and expands as the pressure decreases. So in the polar regions, sinking of air occurs mainly because of the cold climate. However, here at the central part of the earth, due to excessive heat, the air is very warm and it keeps on rising. So, all the cold air will move towards a lower atmospheric pressure and that is why due to the rotation of the earth, we have got alternate belts of high pressure and low pressure on the earth. Now water vapor, that is also an important factor which affects the air pressure. Now the air with water vapor or the humid air is lighter than dry air because Water vapor present in the air displaces an equal volume of nitrogen and oxygen, thus making the air lighter. Water vapor has latent heat, that is hidden heat, which also makes the air lighter. Now let us understand it in a simpler way. When will we have a lot of water vapor in the air? When the air is warm. We will not have enough water vapor in the air when the air is dry. And when is the air dry? When it is having a high pressure. When it is very cold, there will be less of water vapor. While when the air is warm, light, it will be able to have or contain a large amount of water vapor. 
So water vapor plays a very important role in the air pressure. That is, it also plays a significant role in determining the air pressure. Wherever the air pressure will be less, there is likelihood of having more of water vapor. Now this video introduces the relation between atmosphere, its pressure and temperature and its effect on the earth. That is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.